Hey guys, I'm going to talk about this task project, which is you can find on YouTube. I put a task project playlist in my channel. I'm going to share it in the description as well. So it's been already fourth episode. So the project is already started, but you can yeah start watching from the first episode till the last one. And the good thing is you can code along as well. Uh, it's 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 simple task project. It's going to touch the areas like crude operations, create, read, update, and delete. It's going to work with the Postgres. And um, like we're going to add testing. We're going to have uh, HTTP server. There will be more is coming. But so far, it's already working with Docker Compose. What you can do is you can go to GitHub. And here, yeah, you can just pull the repo. It's it's uh, github.com fmo uh, and slash tasks i'm going to share it in the description as well yeah you can start it as well um yeah, just keep watching the updates i'm going to regularly update up after each episode i'm going to push to all the changes um yeah go is really one of the raising languages so uh, jetbrains is having this this yearly um, survey which is asking a lot of developers and getting their opinion and golang is one of the languages which is increasing the yeah adoption rate so basically more and more developers are using uh, because i think everything is going into the cloud and go is just yeah the first language when you think about cloud softwares like kubernetes and many more uh, Go is the first language you 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 remember, and also, yeah, for scaling because concurrency is also very important uh, for the backend. Um, so if you like backend and computer science and you want to learn or improve your coding skills with the Go, I think that's a good project. I would uh, recommend and write the comments if you stuck anywhere so we can have a look. And I can try to help you to to catch the project and we take it from there. Um, yeah, the next coming topics can be like microservices. Yeah, we're going to tackle everything. Like it's going to be more dynamic, I would say, because we can define the context together. So if you see something um, and you're curious about, you're related with your project and everything. So we can also dive into that part as well. All right. I will catch you in the uh, next episode then.